Hello all my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys in this video I'll be discussing about why big tech companies are laying off massively recently. Now recently you have seen Google announcing 12000 people are getting going to get laid off which is nothing but 6% of the total workforce uh, working in Google and a couple of months back companies like Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, Twitter they also laid off a lot of people itself. Now why these specific things are happening i'm going to discuss about that in this specific video i'm not going to talk about the macro economic conditions macro economic condition means like inflation or war like the war between ukraine versus russia right i'm not going to talk about that but i'm going to talk about the most generic reasons so that any common person will be able to understand now whenever we talk about fang companies or this big tech companies they are obviously growing from past decade from 2016 if i probably consider they are growing in a manner every year with some certain percentage but in 2020 because of the pandemic there was entire lockdown throughout the world covid-19 the disease that defined our lives in 2020 2020 is now the deadliest year in US history people were working from home and with respect to most of the services now they were directly dependent on the internet when i say on the internet that basically means with respect to all the companies that were able to provide the services if i consider some of the example online shopping from amazon binge watching from netflix uh food delivery apps like zomatos swiggy and many more now since the people were heavily dependent on these services the growth exponentially started increasing for all those companies and during this pandemic time the ceos the leaders you know when they started giving the projection they thought that going further the projection of the growth will be also be increasing exponentially now when this growth was actually increasing the hiring of from those companies also happened very much quickly now the hiring was just not with respect to the headcount but with respect to the salary hike percentage also there was a huge hike that was given to many of the people but now in 2022 and 2023 because since there were no more covid pandemic you know people started to use other services also like they were not completely dependent on only the online services they started to travel they started to go to movie theaters they started to eat food outside in restaurants and many more things now because of this you know even though the growth is there it is now not increasing exponentially instead the growth is becoming stagnant right so because of this the projections of all those ceos and leaders who were considering that the growth is going to go exponentially that actually did not happen now because of this in most of the articles when you see that the companies when they are announcing that we are going to lay off this many number of people from the company the ceos are basically considering that this is their fault because the projection what they had actually considered it is not specifically happening now because of this even though the growth is there the growth is not very much exponentially increasing it is almost stagnant and because of that more and more layoffs will basically happen so guys we have spoken about the big tech companies but there are also other companies who are laying off and who are firing people also why i am saying firing and there is a specific reason the thing is that during this pandemic also they have done they have invested a lot of money with respect to the marketing thinking that you know they will be able to generate that much revenue but right now if you see most of the companies they're always in loss in negative value uh if you probably see the financial sheet or oh, obviously they'll say that okay they have done that much revenue but if you see the losses part it will be very very huge and that is also increasing year by year right it may be because of the bad product it may be because of bad strategy of marketing and many more things right and this kind of companies i think you have heard of a lot So when this company's losses increases, right? Obviously, investor have invested so much amount of money in their companies, and they also definitely want a huge returns. Now, investor will also provide a good amount of pressure, saying that either try to increase this, or try to restructure the dream, or try to trim the dream, or try to lay off the dream, or try to bring some management changes or some plans, and many more things. Now, because of this, uh, you know, the companies also have to listen to the investor. 
तो गाइज आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द मेन रीजन अगेन दे आर लॉड ऑफ डिटेल्ड अदर रीजन ऑल्सो मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स बट आई रियली वॉन्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट ओवर दे बिकॉज मेनी पीपल विल नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पार्ट द मोस्ट जेनरिक रीजन पीपल विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड नॉ मेनी पीपल मे ऑल्सो हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट मे हैपन इन दिस अपकमिंग फाइव टू सिक्स मंथ्स वट आई फील दैट गाइज येस दे विल बी डेफिनेटली ले ऑफ फ्रॉम अदर कंपनीज ऑल्सो सम ऑफ द कंपनीज मे इवन फायर बिकॉज दे आर नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म well uh you know but again that is dependent on time i cannot just predict exactly what is 100% right or wrong in the future so yes this was it from my side i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye take care